you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday in the last week after the Epiphany. Let us pray. pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, Grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of John, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet... The world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Here ends the lesson. Today begins our journey into John's Gospel, which opened with the verses known as the prologue. You might have noticed that the prologue repeats the familiar words found in the book of Genesis, where it says, In the beginning. Genesis tells about the beginning of creation, while John's Gospel points back before time began to the dawn of all things as we know them. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John wants his readers to know that God is without beginning and will later affirm that God is without end. There is nothing without God. And there is nothing that preceded God. The Gospel of John has two significant hallmarks. The first is that it's called the Book of Signs, based on the seven signs or miracles we will read about that point to Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ, the Word made flesh who came and dwelt among us. In biblical terms, the number seven often serves as a symbol of completeness or perfection. We read how the seven days of creation were laid out in Genesis, which is true whether you read the seven days figuratively or literally. This gospel contains discourses or teachings of Jesus that explain the significance of the signs. The second and equally essential hallmark is found in the I am statements made by Jesus. 
In Exodus 3, Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me what is his name, what shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. God said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. In the Gospel of John, Jesus makes seven I am statements. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the gate for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way and the truth and the life. And I am the vine. In the prologue that we read today, John is casting the tone for what follows. Jesus is the Messiah. He is the great I Am, and He is God. He was from the beginning of creation. I hope that you will enjoy this journey through this gospel. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon Him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 9 a.m. on Sundays. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings. Mm -hmm.